What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we're going to show you a closer and on feet look at the Nike Zoom Flight 96 known as carbon fiber or just black and white. Now these do not have a release date. They're kind of just showing up to Nike sportswear re retailers. So you might want to check your local spot out, but you can get these at Chic Shoes retailers and there'll be a link in the description below. Retail price is 130. This colorway is an original release. The overall, the shoe was made popular by Penny Hardaway. Hardaway was wearing the Olympic pair, which actually came back this year. They released on the Nike sneakers app, but to my knowledge, they're also dropping this weekend at select retailers. But um, I could be wrong on that, I, but I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure I'm right. But for this pair, which I still don't get why they released these again because they dropped back in 2014, originally in 96, and I want to say 2007, 8 or 9 in that time frame. And to what I can see is there's really no difference between this the 2016 Retro and the uh, 2014. But I don't own the pair, I just, you know, looking at images. But anyways, through the upper, we have New Buck, predominant black, and then the swoosh is stitched with white, you can see kind of the layers as well. And of course the carbon fiber that runs through the mud guard and wraps the heel. Another swoosh up top, more carbon fiber that hits the midsole, which is pretty much white except for this carbon fiber through it. They seem to be okay as far as construction goes. Then we have a partial mesh and new buck tongue. Zoom air up top. And then we got the liner. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all red stitching inside. You probably can't see it. But um, it's red stitching, which I have not seen yet. Which is nothing great or anything or, you know. All right, so the insole, Flight School 96, so that might be different. I don't know. If you guys own the 2004 or the older retro or even the original, let me know if that is on it. All black insole and the white branding. Now, so the sole, we got translucent blue, some more carbon fiber. You can see the zoom air right there. Then we got black. I used to love this shoe back in the day, like back in, um, what was it, uh, gosh, I don't know, I think I was in fifth or sixth grade at that time. Yeah, I didn't get them, though. A fr friends got them. Sometimes we'd trade shoes. I'd feel cool, <laughs> so I had a pair, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, now I just, they don't really do much for me. I mean, they're cool, I, I still like them, but as far as picking them up, I probably won't, but, um, not a bad shoe. The Olympic pair I like more. But yeah, I still don't get why they are dropping them again. This colorway, because it released in 2004, like I mentioned. But uh, yeah, they should be available now at your Nike Sports or retailers. Just hit them up or try out Chic Shoes if you live by one. Now we'll jump to the on feet. Alright everybody, so that was your on feet look and closer look at the Nike Zoom Flight 96 known as carbon fiber or black and white. Now these are available now at Nike Sportswear retailers including Chic Shoes. There'll be a link in the description below. Um, retail is 130 which I do like the price point. I'm not going to lie, like I was expecting something higher, probably 150, 160 range. So 130 is not bad, however, you know if I had it my way it'd be cheaper just because you know who wouldn't want to spend less but um you know i think that these will hit outlets to be honest with you and then people start picking them up once they drop below that hundred dollar range um 
but other than that like the construction's cool i don't see a ton of glue stains maybe i got lucky i only checked out one pair because i was in a rush i didn't check out a few of them um so this pair came out pretty cool uh but always check you know check them out before if you're gonna get them in person um let us know what you think about the shoes coming back for like the fifth fourth or fifth time maybe i'm over exaggerating but i just don't get why 2014 they released and then nike's bringing them back two years later because when i saw them sitting because I, I actually saw them sitting before it started breaking everywhere that um they were going to return or, or they have returned and i just thought all right maybe this is the the 2014 release that they got in you know shipped around because they couldn't sell it even though it was a couple years late and I checked the product number, I ran the product number, it came up that it was, it came up 2004, so I was like, or 2014, so I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I was right about that. And then all of a sudden, like, I got word that, no, Nike brought him back. So, I said, huh, you know what, I'm a fan of 90s basketball shoes, I'll shoot a video to see what you guys think and showcase them to you. But yeah, leave a comment below, let us know what you think of them. If you plan on picking them up or just, you know, waiting, maybe getting the Olympic pair. Because I am I was told that they're going to release on the 20th or 21st at more retailers. So we'll see about that. I know it dropped on Nike, the sneakers app, and sold out pretty fast. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.